Some teachers are now upset after being asked to return to work next week to prepare. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest is live tonight at Orange County School headquarters. And Mike, tonight plans to educate students are still changing. Uh, it, it's a constant change. In fact, Orange County Public Schools Superintendent Dr. Barbara Jenkins says uh, that she understands that parents, students, and even her own staff members are frustrated. There's going to be more changes, but she is asking for patience during what she calls a challenging transition. Now, here's what we know right now. School, some school staff members in Orange and Osceola counties are being asked to come into school on Monday to begin preparing lessons and gathering equipment. Seminole County school staff will likely be reporting in from home by teleconference. Now, a reminder, all students must stay home. On the following Monday, March 30th, many school districts hope to begin instruction remotely using distance learning. Now, not all students have internet access or electronic devices, something school administrators are addressing. Some districts like Seminole and Osceola counties are trying to provide laptops and internet hotspots to families who may need it. Also, school districts are creating some lessons that will not require internet use. In Orange County, that will primarily apply to younger students. Our teachers are actually um, prepared to provide digital learning for our students. Younger students will have educational packets provided for them. But as you all know, thanks to our taxpayers, our middle and high schools and one third of our elementary schools have one to one digital ratio. So our middle and high schoolers actually take their laptops home with them on a regular basis. Our elementary school students would need to retrieve their laptops once we give those directions. Now, all day today, we've been hearing from Orange County teachers and even the teachers union concerned that those uh, teachers are going to have to go back into their buildings uh, early next week. Uh, late today, Superintendent Jenkins, uh, she didn't outline a plan, but basically suggested most of those staff members are going to be able to work from home and very few will need to go in to actually uh, physically gather up materials to prepare uh, for the next month ahead.